Hello everyone, it's Sheila back with some more Happy Meal. Um, I knew this was coming because um, the lady did message me and ask me if I would be interested in the odd holes of wool that she had no more use for. I have opened it up and there was a little card inside but um, I know that there's wool inside which she has. This is the... Um, the card that um from a lady called pauline she says hello sheila i hope you find these balls of wool useful inside the tin tin well there must be something in a tin inside <laughs> inside the <laughs> i'm just wondering what nurse meant by the tin inside the tin is needle protectors for sizes three millimeter to eight millimeter and these are from pauline Put that down. Oh, and I can see something in bubble wrap on the, the top here. Oh, this must be the tin. <laughs> it's a tiny little tin. It's got a sheep on the front with a, a little ball of wool hanging from it. <laughs> Looks like it's been all the wool's been taken off it and it's made into a ball. Oh, there must be needle protectors must be inside here. Yeah, it's a tiny little tin. Oh, there they are. The little... <laughs> they look like little, like a tin of little tin of sweets. Little candy. You know, you see the little thing in the little hole in for to put on the end of your needles. That's a needle. You know, I'm thinking about this needle protector. <laughs> you know, my mind's not with it today. That's it. Put on the end of your needle to stop your stitches falling off when you're finished with your knitting. Oh, they'll come in very handy. There's enough for three lots of needles there, and I've always got lots of knitting on needles. Oh, that was a nice little surprise. Unusual, that. Lovely little tin. I think people used to have things like that years ago, you know, that snuff boxes. That needle down there. Well, I'll have a check of what's in here now. Oh, this is Debbie Bliss Juliet. Now I've seen Debbie Bliss before, and it's very expensive. I wouldn't buy it myself. It's a summer tweed, and this one has. I'm not sure whether it's brown. Oh, it's got brown and. Not sure whether it's like charcoal or it's black. Very dark grey anyway and red and white. They be handy for my um, pouches and things like that that I do. That's a 50 gram ball and that's 120 metres, 325 millimetre needles. That's four ply then, that would be four ply that one. And this is some sublime... Egyptian cotton, that's double knitting that one, let's just see it's sublime, the sun is sort of shining, you know sometimes if there's no sun I get a bad video and sometimes if there's too much sun I get a bad video but it's not too bad, I'm seeing what this is, be 100% cotton if it's Egyptian cotton in it, try to find it, it's 105 metres, um, it says, oh, four millimetres, it is double knitting, and it is, yes, it says up there, 100% cotton, so that's another one for my pouches, I don't know what to call that colour, it's, um, I had some wool once, like cinnamon, I think it had on the, the name on the, the wool. That looks like that, probably like a cinnamon. Oh, and this is beautiful, this one. Oh, I love these colours. This is very soft, really, really soft. It's perfect for babies. Sirdar Snuggly. Oh, well, that is really a baby's wool, isn't it? Sirdar Snuggly. Crofter, this is baby fair ale effect. Oh, this is four ply. Oh, yes, it's very, I can see it's very fine. 
with a skirt, um, green, like dusty pink in it, cream and lilac. I think it looks like um, taupe, what you call taupe, like a brownish shading. I could probably get a, um, oh, I can see a knot in the middle of the wool there. Look at that. <laughs> could probably put a knot in just to finish it off. But I'd probably get a little, a very small child's one out of this. Even if I used, um, I have an odd few balls of four ply. Um, yeah, you know, like one of the colours in here for the um, the bands on the bottom and the sleeves and that. But I think on its own, because it's four ply, it goes a lot further than it does have, let's see how much it says, 226 metres. So that's a lot in. I would probably get a little baby cardigan no trouble out of that. I, oh, I love those colours. I love those mix, variegated, that's what they call them ones. <laughs> oh, and this is another, it's called Rowan Karma. And it is a... Like a, a milky coffee colour. I can't think of the colour. I don't think it tells you anyway what the colour is. And it's it's seventy four percent cotton and twenty six percent polyester. I forgot to check what that one was. Fifty five percent nylon and forty five percent acrylic. You know, at one time, um, when I used to my knit machine years ago, nearly all the wool that came in balls and the cones was all a certain amount of nylon in it. That helped them keep their shape better than what all acrylic does these days. But this one is, like I said, 74% cotton and 26% polyester. And it's 160 metres. Looking at other things on it so that one has five millimeter needles no six oh it's six uk that's all size of six uk five millimeter or eight us so that's probably equivalent to um to aaron that one that make another nice anything for pouches and oh i love this one Another Debbie Bliss one. This is cotton, double knitting print, 100% cotton, that one. And this one has the stripes as white, different shades of grey. I'm not sure, I don't think it's black. I think it's like charcoal. All different shades of grey in it and the white. And I can see another place just in that way they've joined to, to make the full 50 grams, probably 50 grams and four millimetres as well. I love those sort of colours, uh, greys and whites. And this is Sirdar Wash and Wear, double crepe. Oh, you don't see crepe these days. That's all I used to use for years ago when my kids were, were little, was crepe. In fact, for myself and that, I think I had crocheted dresses and all sorts for myself and it was always in the crepe. You never got the, the bits of fluff, you know, that you get on cardigans and things that you knit now with the wool and that now on, on this crepe. I don't know whether you can still get this actually. Um, I've never actually seen it anywhere when I've been looking for wool. But this is, let's see where it tells you what it is. It's 55% acrylic and 45% nylon. So that will keep it shaped very well, that. And it is four millimetre needles. That's another like caramel colour, like a light caramel, a milky caramel colour. It doesn't tell you the colours on these things, so I don't know what, what they're supposed to be. Or I like that one. Oh, there's another one here, and that the Sirdar wash and wear again. Double crepe, exactly the same as the other one, just different shade. It just has shade number, it doesn't see the um the colour of it. 
Oh, I'll have to look that one up and see whether you can still get that. I would prefer crepe for myself if I could get it. Probably be very expensive. It wasn't expensive in my younger days, but it probably is now. That's another 50 gram bowl. And there's bonus <coughs> Hayfield bonus double knit. I never knew these came in 50 gram bowls. I bought a lot of 100 gram bowls. I didn't realise they were smaller bowls. And this one is, turn that way, four millimetre needles again. And how much is in this? 153. No, oh, that's yards. We don't do yards in UK anymore. It's 140 metres approximately. So that's an odd ball of white that'll come in handy too. Oh, and some more snug. Sirdar Snuggly Crofter again, Baby Fair Isle. Oh, this is double knitting. Oh, the other one is a different colour label on. Oh, it's because it's four ply. The four ply, they must have different colour labels on for the um, the different thicknesses. This one has, where's the instructions? 50 grams, 165 metres. That's quite a lot because you don't, sometimes you don't even get 300 metres on most 100 gram balls. So that, if that was doubled, that would be 330. About 330 you would get on a 100 gram ball. Oh, that's worth, it's worth getting that one. I like those colours. I like um, lilac, greens, like different shades of light. Brown, like a top, I think you call it, like a top in a in a, a dark beige cream. I don't know if it's cream or white. Some nice colours in these ones. Oh, there's another one of those ones in here. Another one of the Sirdar Snuggly Crofter. This one is more orange, pink, grey, cream. It's another nice one. The same one. So that's three balls of the crofter, two in double knitting and one in four ply. <coughs> oh, and last, the only 100 gram ball here. It's lovely and soft as well, this one. This James C. Brett Harmony double knitting, that one. Let's see, and this has 260 metres. This is 78% premium acrylic and 22% cotton. You know, when you get anything that's premium acrylic, there's always less meters in it. Whatever they have to do to it must make it heavier. <laughs> and that is four millimeter needles again. I like the colors in that one. It's You can't see all the colors because they're hidden, sort of. They're, it's like a green and a, like a purple and the blue and there's different shades of brown with the it has like a white thread running through the whole thing oh, i'll get a child's probably up to about a 20 inch i could probably get no i don't think i would get 20 inch only having 260 meters i'd probably get an 18 inch little cardigan out of that one and that is my happy meal today from Pauline so thank you very much Pauline for that lovely selection that you've sent me a lot of stuff I've never seen before so thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time so bye for now